choosing sides. Let's consider this story. Most, if not many friends, were just as shocked as I was when my husband left. I can still recall every conversation on that day when my friends and family were dumbfounded. They couldn't understand what was happening. As a client's telling me this, I didn't understand either. All I knew that it was gone and it wasn't good. For weeks there was no communication and I knew in my heart he was not coming back. It wasn't until months later that the reason behind his abrupt departure became clear. Clear. He was in another relationship. Unfortunately for this relationship, it was somewhat public, making it not only impossible to ignore, but mortifying as well. I knew my friends and family would eventually find out, so I had to break that news. That was the last time I read a tabloid. I don't Google or seek out information. Don't follow any of the gossip. Nothing. My heart and my stomach can't take it. Occasionally, you might hear from people who continue to be appalled by that person's behavior, but can't let those stories affect yourself. My true friends knew how I felt about this, and they refrained from sharing anything that they heard about it with me. As stories like this unfold, it becomes evident what side of the fence people want to stand. I will be forever grateful, and I was lucky for those who stood by me. Of course, there were those who don't, and that's okay. Okay, too. Sometimes it depends on people's jobs or how they felt about the person in terms of a career gain. They might have also wanted to gain a celebrity status or simply liked that person better. I totally get it. I understand that this position and it doesn't always upset somebody. At least they're honest and they own it. Some were even up front to say that they had to maintain a friendship because they feared the ramifications of keeping a relationship with me. I have no ill feelings toward all of them. 